I don't have to worry about getting items. I don't have to worry about a lot. 48 minutes. Okay, we can keep going. We're facing off against Roy. Let's see what, what, what can Roy do? No, normal rules, normal rules, no restrictions. We'll always do normal rules and we'll use, uh, we'll use the box. We'll use the box. Wait, what, what, what is it? Use the box. Yes, confirm. Okay, let's see my opponent. Alola, Ninetales, Muck, Charizard, Mew, Pikachu, and Dugtrio. So nice team from my opponent. I definitely do like my opponent's team. Uh, Stealth Rocks are kind of an uh, are kind of a priority for me right now. So I could go into uh, Needle Queen. Needle Queen should be able to take it a hit too. Let's see here. Do I want to do that though? Because my if my Needle Queen's low, then I'll get zippy zapped all over the place. So I think what I actually might want to do is just lead off with Starmie. Yeah, I, I think I want to lead off with Starmie. Because Starmie can paralyze things. I can sculpt the Duck Trio. I should speed top with Duck Trio too, so I might be able to just get sculpt and win it. I can paralyze the Mew, paralyze Charizard, paralyze Muck. Like, well, if it was Muck, I'd probably switch out the Fat Cakes, but. Regardless, I think Starmie's my lead. I think Starmie's my lead of choice, so. And I can get I can get Stealth Rocks up later whenever my Needle Queen comes in, hopefully against Pikachu. But anyway, let's see here. Carol and Voy. I, I need to make a team around Voy too. I definitely need to make a team around Voy, because Voy is gonna be really fun to use. Either way, my opponent is gonna lead off a Dug Trio, just like I thought. See that this is the reason why I didn't want to lead off my, my Needle Queen. My Needle Queen is normally my lead, but I, I immediately thought if he's gonna lead off a Dug Trio, then he can earthquake and be faster. So I'll just use Scald and hopefully I'll outspeed and hopefully I can Oko. Let's see. I, I do outspeed and I do Oko. So no stealth rocks. No stealth rocks. Dug Trio is gone. So that perfect turn one. Perfect turn one. Dug Trio is gone. I don't have to worry about that Dug Trio any longer. It's perfect. That, I, I, that was a perfect turn one. No stealth rocks. And that happens. So Mew is going to come out now. For Mew, I'm definitely paralyzing you. I'm definitely paralyzing Mew. There's no synchronize, so I don't have to even worry about that. Definitely paralyzing this Mew. If he wants to Thunder Wave me back, that's fine. But I'm definitely going to paralyze this Mew just so it's way less of a threat. I don't want this Mew to be a threat. So, Mew is paralyzed and cannot move. Okay, let's see. From here, I don't think he'll use Psychic. I don't think he'll use Psychic against me. Because he gains no reason, so there's no point in me hard going into my Raticate. So I'll, I'll use Skull to weaken it. Because I, I think of anything, he's gonna Thunder Wave me back, and I don't care if uh if if I if I'm if Starmie is paralyzed. But he does go straight with uh straight with a Mega Drain. Which is something I definitely was not expecting. So now from here I'm switching out. From here I'm definitely switching in the fat cakes. But yeah, the reason why Fat King's on here is just the hard wall psychic types, and then once I get an Electro trained up, I'm gonna uh, replace it with a Screen's Electro. That way, I can set up with Pinsir easier. So Mega Drain's gonna come out. Um, I'm trying to think what my opponent has for Fat Cakes. I honestly don't know what my opponent has for Fat Cakes. So, um, do I want a Sword Dance? Is the question. I don't think I want a Sword Dance right away. I'm just gonna go hard crunch. I was gonna go hard crunch. I don't want a sword stance right now because he still has Pikachu, which has the Zippy's at priority. And if he goes on the Charizard, then he'll be able to Oko me. So I'm just gonna try to do as much damage as I can with Crunch. So Muck. Oh yeah, he also has Muck. Can't forget about the Muck. Cannot forget about the Muck. So let's see here. Obviously not doing too much damage there. And but now was the time I'm going with my Neo Queen. But yeah, cuz he can't poison me. Crunch might do a little bit under half, I think. But I can scare him out with my Earthquake and I get my own Stealth Rocks up for his Charizard, which will be perfect. So, Poison Jab. Okay, perfect. This is a perfect turn for my Neo Queen. So, yeah, cuz Neo Queen can eat up that Poison Jab and get my Stealth Rocks up. If he has Char he has Charizard on his team, so this is perfect for me to get them up now. So, I, I don't know. This is, this, this is looking good for me. This is looking very, very good for me. I'm not sure what he'll switch into. I honestly don't know what he'd switch into right here. So anyway, Redraws Muck. What's he want to do? Going to go Hard and Mew? Hard and Mew, okay. 
And just like I said before, I'm going to keep my Nidoqueen around because I don't want to take, um... I don't want to take any, uh, damage prior to getting that Pikachu right. Because my Nidoqueen is my answer to Pikachu right now. So I definitely need to keep my, uh... My Neo Queen healthy just because he uses that splishy splash with Pikachu. So we go straight back into Alolan Muck. If he uses Psychic or gets paralyzed, that's perfect. Because from here, I'll use Swords Dance. So yeah, Psychic, that doesn't affect Fat Cakes. And from here, I'm going to Swords Dance and then Facade. Because he'll probably go into Muck. He'll probably go into Muck if he toxics me. That's fine, because Facade will actually just destroy him. So I want to see what he wants to do. So Swords Dance, okay, yep. Yeah. So he was okay with letting me get a crunch off on this Mew, which is kind of wild. Mew is fully paralyzed. Perfect. Perfect turn for my Raticate. My Raticate can go. My Raticate can go in now. My Raticate can actually just go in now. We'll use Crunch. Crunch. That should be a dead Mew. Oh no, Mew survives. Shadow Ball. That doesn't affect me either. That does not affect me either. I'm a fat cake. <laughs> I am a fat cake. That Shadow Ball is not going to affect me either. I'm Eradicate. You cannot Shadow Ball Eradicate. You, you cannot Psychic Eradicate. <laughs> this is a Dark Normal type. My Eradicate can eat Shadow Balls and Psychics. We take no damage from those. Mew is down. So Fat Cakes coming in to put in the work. Fat Cakes showing why Fat Cakes is on the team. Let's go Fat Cakes. If he goes in the Charizard, I'm Psycho Punching. Okay, so Nine Tails is coming to come out. Nine Tails is going to come out. Does he, have, does he have the D-Gleam? I'm going to use Facade. Does he have the D-Gleam? He does have the D-Gleam. Is that, is that going to Oko? That does take me out. That does take me out. I thought Fat Cakes might be able to live because Fat Cakes is kind of bulky. But unfortunately, that does take me out from there. And this is kind of... I don't know what to do here because I am weak to Ice. Four times weak to Ice. I'm weak to Ice of a Mega Ball. I'm weak to Fairy. And I'm low. But, uh, let me think. Yeah, I, I actually do want to think about this turn for a minute here. I was, if I had Rock Slide on Pinsir, this would be so easy. I actually, I actually might put Rock Slide on Pinsir. I think I'm going to put Rock Slide on Pinsir after this game. So I, I definitely want to have Rock Slide on Pinsir for, the, for these types of situations. Regardless, Nine Tails is out here. And I think my plan is going to be to try to paralyze this Nine Tails. So I'm going to use Thunder Wave here. So yeah, we're definitely, we definitely want to paralyze this Nautilus. That way my other Pokemon can be faster than it. And I could probably just Earthquake it with my Needle Queen. Foul play. Is that going to Oko? Well, not Oko, but take me out from there. And it does. So nice move. Okay. So it does take me out from there. Now the question is, what do I want to do? Hmm. This is actually a hard choice. I really don't know. Uh, because Starmie was one of my answers to Charizard too, so that's another thing I have to keep in mind. Oh, this is actually kind of bad. This is actually kind of bad. I'm gonna go in the pincer. I, I think I have to go into Pinsir. Yeah, I definitely have to go into Pinsir here. And x is not going to take me out. I mean, x is not going to do the work. So I'm going to... Let me see. What do I want to do? If I Mega Evolve with Super Power, I don't think that's enough. I don't think Mega Evolving and Super Power is enough. So I'm going to Raw Earthquake and then Super Power. And I don't want to Mega Evolve. If I, I've, if I have Mega Evolve, then I'll be weak to Ice. So I don't want to Mega Evolve. Ice Beam. So, okay, yeah. So if I Mega Evolve there, I might be able to take him up with Super Power. But this was the overall saver play. This was definitely the overall saver play. I'm going to Earthquake again here. He might go hard Charizard, but that's fine. And, okay. So let's see here. Nine Tails is out. So I, I, need, I need to think of my plays. I definitely need to think of my place right here. So if he goes on the Charizard, Charizard's, Charizard is going to be scary for me. Um, if he's Mega Charizard X, I think, my, I think no matter what, my play against Charizard is going to superpower. So if I Mega Evolve, but he's X and I use superpower, it might actually take him out. 
But if he's Y, then I don't know. So we're going to Mega Evolve. And we're going to Super Power. Because Mega, Mega Evolution should make me faster. It should be made me faster. I'll definitely be bulkier. If these Mega Charizard X Super Power will be neutral. If these Mega Charizard Y, then he'll then he'll still be resisted to it. So his play here is to stay base. His play here is to is to stay base Charizard. But regardless, my Pinsir is going to Mega Evolve. Mega Pinsir. Does does he Mega Evolve as Charizard? Yes, he Mega Evolves Charizard. Go X. Be X. Go Mega Charizard X. Go Mega Charizard X. Go Mega Charizard X. Go Mega Charizard X. He's Y. This is bad. This is actually very bad because superpower won't take him out from here. Superpower won't take him out from here. If I had Rock Slide, this would have been perfect. If I had Rock Slide, this would have been perfect. I need to take. Some, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take off superpower for Rock Slide. So, Charizard's gonna fly. Okay, never mind. We're still in this. We are still in this. We are definitely still in this. And I'm going to go hard, Nido Queen. I'm going to go hard, Nido Queen here. Because even though Neo Queens might enter the Pikachu, it's the only thing that I have on my team that can take out, um, that can take a hit from Charizard. It's the only thing on my team right now that can take a fly from Charizard, so. Note to self, I'm definitely replacing Superpower with Rock Slide on my, uh, on my team. So we're going to use Ice Punch here. Fire Blast. He's going to hit Fire Blast. And that's a dead Neo Queen. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. And from here... Hmm. I think from here, I'm going to go with Polyrath and Bulk Up. So I think I'm going to go with Polyrath. His, his play is going to be rather to switch out or use Fly. And yeah, well, he can't switch out because his Charizard will be dead if he switches out. So I'm going to use Bulk Up. Bulk Up is my best play. So it will, it will let me take Fly better. And if he switches out, then he'll die from anyway. So, bulk up is definitely the play here. Plus, it will let me take a zippy zap from Pikachu a lot better. So, bulk up is definitely the play for Polyrath right now. And Fly cannot, Fly cannot, um, Fly shouldn't be able to take me out. Fly can crit, but Fly shouldn't be able to take me out even with a crit. Never mind. Never mind, I spoke of the life. I thought Polyrath would be able to take a fly with crit. It can't take a fly with crit. So, uh, I might have just lost there. I might have just lost there, because I think that was my only play. Yeah, I I, th I think that just lost me the game. That 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 crit just lost me the game, because I should not have died to fly at all. I would have probably taken less than half. After a bulk up, I probably would have taken less than half. So, I'm going to lose this game here, because I missed, uh, because of that crit. But anyway, Superpower does take out Charizard. Superpower does take out Charizard. Good luck, Hero. I have to go catch the bus. Hey, have a good day, man. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. But yeah, Polyrath definitely should have been able to take a fly there. So that crit might have lost me the game. Unless my opponent chokes. If my opponent chokes, then I still might have a plan with Pinsir. But Pikachu is going to come out here. So... My opponent's best play, no matter what, is Floaty Fall. I don't even know. I don't even know what my opponent's, the rest of my opponent's team is, because I don't have the. I'm using a Pokeball Plus, so I can't check it. But I'm gonna have to go into. I'm have, gonna have to go into my Executor and hope that he uses Zippy Zap. I'm gonna have to go into my Executor and hope that he uses Zippy Zap here. Thunder. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. Thunder. My Executor can eat that. Eat that hit, Executor, and I get paralyzed. Oh, the hacks is coming through. The hacks is gonna come through. Okay, let's use uh, let's use Dragon Pulse. We have to go for power. We have to go to power because we have to Oko this Pikachu. He's gonna withdraw Pikachu and go into Muck. Okay, but Pikachu is faster than than Pinsir anyway because of this is being partner Pikachu. Oh, man. I forgot that he had the muck. Yeah, if I if I had Polyrath, Polyrath would have been able to do such good work here. But that Thunder, that thunder Paralysis really... Uh, not the Thunder Paralysis, that, that Fly Critical Hit really screwed me over. So, Dragon Pulse, can I, can I take out the uh, Executor from here? Let's see here. I can take out Executor, or I can take out Muck. 
I can take out Muck. So now it's Exeggutor and Mega Pinsir versus Pikachu. But I don't know if I can take it. I'm not sure if I can take it because of how fast uh, partner Pikachu is. But I think I think what I want to do though is Mega Drain. So I need to get some health back on my on my uh, Exeggutor. Zippy Zap. Okay, so he's Thunder and Zippy Zap. That should do no damage, even with the crit. Even with the crit, no damage. Exeggutor, Mega Drain. Come on, that's a crit. Here we go. Mega Drain, get our HP back. And oh, Exeggutor showing what it's worth. I, don't, I, I think because he used Thunder and Zippy Zap, he doesn't have Floaty Fall. If he had Floaty Fall, he won this. If he had Floaty Fall, he definitely would have won this. But I don't think he has Floaty Fall because of how he's, uh, because of how he's playing. Thunder? Yeah, Exeggutor has this. Exeggutor has this in the bag. Come on, Exeggutor. Let's go. Ex Egg Utor, Mega Drain. And that's the game. Exeggutor coming through with the Mega Drain. That's good, Exeggutor. I love my executor. My executor just won this game for me. And that was so close. That was so close. Good game, Roy. Good game. 2-0. Definitely a good game, Roy. Definitely having fun with this meta. I, I can't wait until I uh get, get uh, train myself up in an electrode. Electrode is going to make that team so good. 